Welcome again to our study of the New City Catechism, question number 51. Getting towards the end here, it says, um, the question is, of what advantage to us is Christ's ascension? And uh, his ascension really isn't any advantage to us except for what he does in his ascension. And so that the answer to that is uh, threefold, really. He's advocating for us or interceding for us, meaning when we when we sin and um, uh, uh, we think of Romans 8, 1, where it says there's now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And so as we sin and as we continue to sin in our, in our life here in this broken world, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, Christ is interceding for us. He's advocating for us with the Father, uh, which um, is a tremendous blessing for us each and every day. In uh, other words, we'd be condemned. Um, uh, the second thing he does is he's preparing a place for us. And we look forward to that new heaven and that new earth to be created, to be made uh, um, new. Uh, we're already made new in Christ, um, but we're waiting for that new world, that new place that we're going to reside for all of eternity in. And then thirdly, he sends his spirit. Um, and and that's, that's huge for us in the day that we live in, uh, in this broken world where we have this, uh, God's spirit living inside of us. So we have this, this tremendous hope and help in terms of how we live our lives on a daily basis. We have God's spirit. We read his word and because God's spirit, uh, spiritually enlightens us and opens our eyes, uh, to the words that he has given to us in, in, in the scriptures, um, we can understand them, we can begin to apply them into our lives. Matter of fact, we wouldn't even have a desire to do that if it wasn't for the Spirit. And so um, God works in us and through us uh, through His Spirit. And so His assumption uh, has opened the door for those three things to happen. Uh, and that makes a huge difference then in how we live our lives, because we live with with glory in mind that uh, that resurrection is, again, as we talked about last week, is a reality for us and, and will be uh, sometime soon in our own future. And so we look forward to that as we bring it home today.